We got some weird punctuation in this question, but don't let that intimidate you. Just kind of look at the sentence and think about what's going on. I'm going to ignore the first sentence because if we're dealing with punctuation, we are dealing with sentence structure. And so the structure of previous sentences is not going to affect this one. So let's take a look. When radioactive elements aren't present, scientists turn to strati stratigraphy. I don't know how to say that. The analysis of Earth's sediment layers, strata, to estimate how old a fossil is based on the age of the strata in which the fossil is found. I think most of you are going to have a very natural inclination to pick A here. That is the right answer. Basically, we just are using two dashes to insert an interruption into the sentence, right? So this entire part, I'm going to highlight from the analysis of Earth's sediments layers is a description of what strati stratigraphy is, strat stratigraphy. I have no idea how to say it. Um, don't care. Um, and so we could read the sentence without that. And that's a way to test whether the double dash makes sense, right? Is, is cut that part out, see how it sounds. When radioactive elements aren't present, scientists turn to stratigraphy to estimate how old a fo fossil is based on the age of the strata in which the fossil is found. Sounds fine. Sounds like a real sentence. So what we've done is we've inserted this interruption. The first dash tells us where the interruption begins. The second dash tells us where it ends. Just to talk about the other choices, we could have inserted the interruption with parentheses. That's totally fine. But there's no closed parentheses. They didn't end that. So we're not allowed to start with parentheses and end with the dash. That doesn't make any sense. Um, same thing with the comma. You can also use two commas to insert interruptions into a sentence, but that's not how they end the interruption. So for symmetry's sake, we got to start with one. And then the, the colon is very terrible here. We, in order to use a colon, need a complete sentence beforehand. Then the colon is basically acting like a period before we add on some extra piece, either another sentence or another clause. But it's basically like the sentence is over. So we can kind of listen for that. When radioactive elements are in present, scientists turn to stratigraphy. We could end the sentence there, like that is a complete sentence, but then we have this part after to estimate how old a fossil is based on the age. That part is clearly following stratigraphy. So we can't like end it and be like, oh, now we're going to pick it up again later with a colon. It's too big of a pause. It's too big of an end to do that kind of thing. The dash, we're allowed to do it, but the colon, semicolon, we wouldn't be able to. It's basically like we've ended the sentence where that colon is. So that doesn't make sense. But again, most of you are going to pick A here just kind of naturally. Sometimes we can do a single dash, but if we have a case where it's a double dash, just treat it like an interruption and test it out and you should be fine.